Good afternoon and welcome to the 2018 Valley of Flowers Parade, celebrating the Muni's 100th. And brought to you by Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers and Regions Bank. I'm Russell Inman. And I'm Lily Dumas. We're here again, celebrating the first spring festival. And spring has finally been here. It's, it's My goodness. I, I think spring may have actually been waiting a little bit on the Valley of Flowers to show up. I think you got a point there because it didn't show up until we started prep for the Valley of Flowers. So came in on the tail, of, tail end of it. Snow came on Easter Sunday. It came two Sundays following. We That's finally right. started to have a little bit of sunshine. I thought we were going to go straight to summer and not have a spring. Well, it's, I'm glad it's here. You know, the Valley of Flowers is a big deal for the city of Florissant. You know, the, the, I'd say 20, this is my 21st year working the parade. I can't remember a rain out. So this is, this is great. This is beautiful. I was afraid for a couple of days there, they kept going back and forth on what the, you know, prediction was going to be, but mm -hmm. we, we're here and it's beautiful. You know, everyone's been anxiously awaiting the annual parade. There's highlights are filled with uh, a weekend of three days of carnival games, rides, children's activities, crafts, flea markets, car shows, the circus, the Zobe Family Circus, which everybody loves, live music, and lots and lots of great food with all of the vendors that put up tents, both at the fairgrounds and at the, at the Egan Center. The food is the best, you're right. And don't forget the crowning of the Valley of Flowers Queen and Court at uh, Duchesne Knights of Columbus Pavilion. Awards will also be presented to the winning parade units and their sponsors. This year's theme is celebrating the Muni's 100, so it will definitely be fun to see what the parade participants and floats and units have done to reflect that 100 years of our own beloved, world-renowned Muni Theater. 100 years of the Muni and we've got nearly 100 units in our parade today. Yeah. And that's, yes, we did. That's pretty normal for the city of Florissant to have about 100 units, anywhere from maybe 90 to even 120 yeah, at, at times. Yeah, it's a good number. So many of those are sponsored by local businesses, organizations, charitable organizations that are very active in the community, and other individuals that, that just like to play a part in this. We want to make sure that we uh, say a big thank you to our two event sponsors again, which are Raising Cane's. They've only been in the city of Florissant for less than a year. Yes. And they've already dedicated this to being a main, main event sponsor, which is absolutely terrific. I'm sure that had something to do with them being able to open their business in Florissant, that they had to participate, they had to. don't you think? No, it, was, it, was, it was called out in one of the uh, council meetings. If, if you'll do this, then, then we'll let you, yeah. Regions Bank is another one of those big event sponsors this year. We definitely appreciate their participation and bringing this event to, to our community. And. Um, yeah, you know, the local businesses and being a part of the, the city's um, events like this one, like the Fall Festival, all the many things that, that Florissant really has to offer, it, it's, it's a mainstay. It's and you hear at the council meetings so often when, when somebody's coming up and presenting the business that they'd like to open or they'd like to start or they'd like to buy, they often tell the council, look, we are here to, to not only open this business, but we're here to be a part of your community, and we want us. We want to sponsor things. We want to help things. Let us know what I we can do to, 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 to help. You're right. I think someone's already gotten the word out to them that um, participating in community events very important. So they know that coming in. They do. Yes. They do. And you know, the, the city of Florissant is the city of flowers. It is. It is a beautiful town, and this is just what a, a, a great event that kicks off spring, summer, and everything that Florissant has to offer. And Lily, I think the, the parade is, has got to be close. We're seeing, seeing uh, a few cars. We're seeing a few cars uh -huh. come down. So we should see the color guards soon, I hope. Yeah, they should be coming down shortly here. Lily, how, how many years now have, have you been with the parade? Oh my goodness, I believe I was introduced to my civic responsibilities in 1985. <laughs> so that would be what? 33 years? 33 years? Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. And Commerce Bank, and I've been with Commerce for 35 years, and they've been involved since the early 70s. So I'm going to say about 46 years and that, is that the bank how, has been involved. Is that how you've gotten involved then? When yes. you started in 85, was that because of Commerce's exactly. sponsorship in the parade? Yes. Excellent. So, 
We're going to talk about um, the uh, some of the other sponsors. We mentioned the two main event sponsors, but let's let's go about let's go through the the Florida Lee sponsors. All right. right. Um, some of the companies and organizations that have sponsored the at the Florida Lee level is City of Florissant, Citizens National Bank, Commerce Bank, Don Hennifer Jewelers, Florissant Rotary Club, Handyman True Value Hardware, Knights of Columbus, Duchesne Council, Missouri Arts Council, Regional Arts Commission, and then at the Rose level we have Florissant Old Town Partners, Kent Miller Photography, Quick Copy, Steve Robbins, Certified Financial Planner, and the Muni. That's, that's excellent. We've got a, a Daisy level sponsor. Now this list, this list is pretty large. It's, it's great to see this involvement. At the Daisy level, we've got Christian Hospital. We've got Councilman Joe Egan from Ward 3. Delmar Gardens Family, their North Campus. Fritz's Frozen Custard. Jimmy John's. KB Electric. Nicodem Dental. Neiman's Wealth Management. Pyramid Home Health Services, Renna Center, Florissant Meadows, Schaefer Auto Body, Stitches in Color, U-Haul Moving and Storage Florissant, Universal Windows Direct, and a special thank you, of course, to the Florissant Police and the Fire Departments for all their help, dedication, and service in this parade and all the festivities that they've been a part of. So truly, it takes a village, right? <laughs> to pull all of this together and to have kept it going for 56 years. Absolutely does. Yes. So we really appreciate all of the sponsors um, of the Valley of Flowers Parade and uh, your participation as well. You know, most people don't realize how much work and effort and time goes into preparing for this parade. The, uh, the, the, the group and the board that puts this together, you know, we're doing the parade today. They will be a part of their next event for this tomorrow. They might take one day off after that, and then they're already planning they're for next year. Back in the game. So there's, there really yes. isn't a break. It's not like they come up, you know, with a, a month ahead of time and say, "Let's start talking about what's going to happen." No, it's it's, it's it a is a year project. long. Yes, it, it is. Really is. <laughs> but they do a, a fine job in putting it together. Well, you can see the winds kind of kicking up behind us. We really hope we don't get blown off the stage here today. Or our papers again <laughs> go all over the yard. <laughs> But we are, we are thankful that the rain didn't show up. Yeah, we've really been fortunate. I can't remember too many years to where it has rained through the parade. It might just be a couple, you know, in the past 20 or 30 years. Yeah. We've had, you know, some cloudiness and overcast, but have not been rained out. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Well, working with the, with the camera side for so many years, I, there was a couple years where we'd take, you know, a trash bag, put it over the camera to, to make sure things stay dry. but. Nothing, nothing terrible. This, no. is, this is this is good. Um, it seems like the the right council member joins the crew. They've always got the responsibility for having the uh, the premier weather days for for the Valley of Flowers. He'll be uh, awarded again, I'm sure, at the next city council meeting for, for doing pulling so it good off. today. <laughs> for pulling, pulling it off, off. again. <laughs> Lily, I'm, well, I'm hearing sirens. I think that might be They're, our color guard. The parade's taken just a little bit longer to get to us than normal this year, I think. They uh, slowed it down. Well, the crowds are there, lined on each side of the street. As long as they stay out of the they street, are. we'll be good. Well, the families came this year, Lily. They popped up tents. They pulled out their own barbecues. Oh, it's, and it's smelling good, smelled too. smelled hamburgers and brats on the grill yeah. earlier. They just, they just forgot to bring us in. I know. I wonder what's up with that. You know, it was great. Er early, early on this morning, too, the ice cream truck was coming around. Oh, and the really? sound of the ice cream truck going off is, oh, it, I really, miss that. it really makes you feel like a five-year-old again. Oh, yeah, because the kids <laughs> will chase it down. You're going to run down and grab a bomb pop or something. <laughs> the sounds of the crowds, the sounds of the family, and the they, laughter, you can hear it. The excitement. If we get quiet enough and we stop talking, we can hear it. Uh -huh. It's neat. Yeah, we've got the police out front, so they must be close behind. The Florissant the Police Department is still, and probably always will be, one of the best police departments here in, in St. Louis County. I agree with that. I think that the community has come to expect it, and they don't realize how fortunate they are. And I know several years ago when they brought in the uh, the motorcycle group, it was it was a pretty pretty neat add-on to the police department and that's 
they're going to kind of kick it off here, it looks like, as part of the color guard uh -huh. as these bikes turn circles. It's... Now, I wonder, I wonder how the police officers, if they had to fight for the position to be on the bike. I don't know, but I would think that's nice in weather like this to be on the bike. Absolutely. Not in the wintertime, <laughs> but in this weather, that extra little breeze you get from riding the motorcycle. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't see them too often in the winter. They're, they're probably garaging this for the winter. Uh -huh. But it's it's great to see them out this there is today. This good weather. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the crowd's getting excited. They're at attention. The kids are ready for the floats to come by because they want the candy. The to get candy. Thrown to them. I know my. I've got three of my kids that are out there today, and they made sure to, to bring bags oh, to, my to put it in. <laughs> As if we haven't, you know, had enough with Easter and, right. and everything else. With they the need candy. more. They need more. They need more. Oh, we've got I people. See them, I see them running out there right oh, now. Oh, they're ready. To go grab Parents got to got to keep them back. <laughs> All right. I, looks like they're going to get started any minute. There. They're right. right out here in front of us. Trying to count and see how many of those motorcycles that they've got now is part of their uh, part of their crew. It looks to be about six, doesn't it? I think you're right, Lily. I see Ooh, the flag the behind them now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you hear them, Lily? They spoke out of their megaphone. Who's ready for candy? <laughs> We're not here for a parade. The kids, they're here for the candy. We were just and they've got their that. bags and they're ready. Let the sirens go. This is the one time when you hear the sirens, you're not scared. Right, right. <laughs> you're not afraid you're about to be pulled over. Actually, I think it's four on each side. Of... Welcome, Color Guard, and welcome to the 2018 Valley of, Flower, Valley of Flowers Parade. And again, what a beautiful day for it. I was afraid. Look at these. But these this is looking bikes. good. Oh, yeah. They've got them all shined up and ready for today. And, you know, that speed, that's the hard speed to really stay in a good state of mind. I mean, that's... Bikes are meant to be ridden fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have the color guard. They've got quite a few walkers behind them. Yeah. Good salutes to the red, white, and blue. Well, their their the color guard now is followed there. by the uh, the banners. Oh, that looks. You know, I was expecting the Girl Scout organization, but this looks like McClure North. Is this a? Or is that the Valley of Flowers? I believe that is. Trying to make out which which school band this band. Is. I, the colors look like McClure North. It, they certainly do. Yeah, you know the McClure North marching band and cheerleaders were were coming up in the event. It looks looks like the orders changed on us a little yes, bit. Yes. Yeah. The marching band is made up of 50 members, and they are nicknamed the Marching All Stars. I think they've got a color guard they, of 15 exactly. members. Exactly. We've got pom-pom, majorettes, twirlers, under the direction of Ashley Kilcullen. Good sounds. Good sounds. Now, I graduated from McClure North, so for me, this is oh, a great band to see come okay. through. Beautiful. And I, I graduated in 1998, and that was actually the first year I also worked the parade for the city of Florissant. Oh my goodness. So we're coming up on our 20-year reunion this year, and that's how I can quickly know I've been with the parade now for now, 21 you, years. Were you in the band? I was no, not. Not in the band? Not in the band. I'm not musically inclined well enough. No. Well, you can still work on that. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> All right. The band is now followed by the Forsyth Valley Fire Protection District. I love seeing these old fire trucks. They're good, yes. Wonder how fast could they get to a fire? Well, we've got a 2018 Dodge Ram built by Deemers. We've got a 1935 Diamond T Pumper. Pumper. And a Pierce Dash 75 Aerial, all part of the parade today. 
Thank the passengers, our employees, directors, and family members of the Florissant Valley Fire Protection District. Do boys still want to be firemen? You know, who doesn't you know, want to be? You know, because that was a thing for years, I and think they it just still didn't. Is. Okay, then we've got a lot of young boys out there on the streets. Then just would like a ride on the truck at least. <laughs> Well, you know, when we come out to the festivals the day, the day ahead of time, Florissant Valley, the, the fire department, they're there, they've got a set up, and they're usually allowing the children to walk through, get up nice. in the pumper truck, oh, that's and a they've special got little treat. hats for them. It is pretty neat. It really is. And they make sure they don't leave the girls out. They've got a red hat for the boys, they've got a pink hat for oh, the girls. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. I'd like one of those. Not that I wanted to that be. Would, a that would be good. See, it would help. It would help our hair in the wind today if we had one of those it's fire hats. Would. On, I think it? I need one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see who's next. I think we've got the parade, parade marshal. Yes, coming up next, and that yes, would be. Yes, we do. It's a parade marshal. Mm -hmm. That would be Richard Cox, owner of Danmark Tire and Auto Center. Mr. Cox and his family are proud residents of Florissant. Um, Richard is very active as a member of the Cornerstone Christian Church, where he. Uh, dedicates much of his time and resources. Danmark Tire is expanding operations to better serve their loyal customers and friends in Florissant. Richard Cox. Their facility has been a staple repair facility in the city of Florissant for years and years. And let's see who's followed. Yeah. Mayor Tom Schneider, was he? Did we miss him? I know he was driving through here as well. He's in a Mustang. He, he there we go. We've got the back side there of Mayor mm -hmm. Tom Schneider. Yeah, he walks each year. Yeah, gets his exercise. And it looks like the reigning court is about to come through now. There we are. That's they our got, 2017 court, yeah. They got to enjoy the parade and their own individual floats last year. This and they've is, got that wave down pat. They they've do? been doing this for a whole year, so they're real good with it now. It's a sad day a little bit. This is kind of their wave yes, farewell yes, instead of their wave is. hello for the, the members to, of, this, of this year's court. We'll see them later on we at will. the Knights of Columbus Pavilion as they turn over those sashes. A sad day. Sad day for them, yes, isn't it? Is. Happy day for the 2018 court yes. as they're chosen. And let's see who's. Following. Should be the beginning of the uh, city council coming through, I think. Andrew Harris. Now, this is our newest, uh, a newest elected member of the city council. He's Ward One. Right, new face this year. A younger face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tim Jones there in Ward 2. See him rolling through. It looks like in a red Mustang. Uh -huh. Got his peace sign hanging out there. We see that a little bit. Great. And that might be Joe. There he is. That's Tim. There he is. Nice convertible. And if we're in proper order here, that would be Joe Egan coming up next. Ward 3. There he is. Yes. Hey, Joe. He's walking, too. He is a friendly guy. Yeah. Looking for Jeff Caputa now, Ward 4. Looks like... Let's see, is he walking, too? Yep. Following behind. Tossing out some candy, making sure that the kids are happy. Got some family members there, it looks like, helping. Hey there, Jeff. And now we're looking for Keith Childeroff. There he is with the family. Ward 5. Nice looking truck. Gerard Hinky should be next. He's part of Ward 6. But I don't think so. I think, well, there he is. Okay, there's Gerard. He's on the back of the truck. Yes. He's hiding under the umbrella too. Yeah. He's really making it hard for us to, to show that he's here today. Jackie Pagano, Ward 7. 
She's been the uh, council president now for a couple years, uh -huh. doing a fine job. And then we've got, next should be, there we go, Robert Parson Jr. He's got his family with him. He's fairly Ward new. This eight. is his second year. Second year. You're right. He, uh, he was in charge of the weather last year, and uh, he, he was good, highly huh? acclaimed yes. for his good weather days. World renowned. Tommy Siam, Ward 9. We've got him coming through now. He was just reelected. Oh, and that was our council. And I see another and walker Judge Boyle, out there. Dan Boyle. There's Dan. And I think I saw the mayor of Hazelwood uh, walking as well. Did Matt you? Robinson. There he is in green. And there's Steve Stinger for St. Louis County Executive. So a few folks there on the uh, golf cart coming through. I think we're looking for St. Louis uh, City Council Rochelle Walton Gray. Oh, this, we'll but here we've got Gretchen be. Banger. Okay, mm -hmm. state representative there in the red Jeep. So they may have flip-flopped there a little bit on their spacing. And I think Lacey we, Clay, U.S. Congressman. And I think we have the Muni floats passing right now, celebrating Muni's 100 years right here in St. Louis. And listen to the music. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. This is a magical season for the Muni. The lineup, those seven lineups, is beautiful. Historic season kicks off with a gala show, an evening with the stars, hosted by Matthew Morrison and Heather Headley on May 18th, and a 100th birthday bash on May 20th. The seven shows of the centennial season are Jerome Robbins Broadway, The Wiz, Singing in the Rain, Jersey Boys, Annie, Gypsy, and Meet Me in St. Louis. Beautiful. It, it is, and if you take a moment and just listen to the music and the singing as you kind of let off with, it's phenomenal. I think we're at the Muni. I wish we were. <laughs> Some of the shows that they've got playing now, I know we were talking earlier, kind of figuring out our lineup, who we want to see first. I think I'm going to start right off with Broadway. Beautiful dancing yeah. in that one. It just sets the stage for the rest of the summer. District 9 Girl Scouts, this is always a huge group that comes through the Florissant Valley Flowers Parade. I think 500 members might be marching here today. There's girls and adults from the entire North County area, ranging anywhere from a kindergarten through high school. A sea of blue for miles and miles. It really is, yes. <laughs> You know what's, what's kind of changed with the Girl Scouts now is when those when cookie season is here, uh -huh. you see it everywhere. They're not just coming to your doors anymore. No. You could go to Walgreens or Schnucks or Dearborn. Or They're in front of my branch. In front of your branch. <laughs> Good. Girl Scouts are a big part of our community. Always have been and I'm sure always will be. District 9 is one of the largest in the county. And their parents, you know, the credit goes to a lot of them because they work so hard to help the girls to achieve their goals. And, uh, you know, and that's in addition to their regular jobs, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But they're always with the girls and, you know, and helping them to get space at these different uh, business locations. Absolutely. Well, there's a lot of developmental stages that happen in a young girl's life that the organization can really pour into. Mm -hmm. Helping them, uh, you know, with, with the creatives, with the crafts, with business resources and the alliances that they have with other community companies and entities and their growth and they, the importance that it is to, uh, to have that mind at, at such a young age really start developing and sometimes an entrepreneurial spirit. Yes. They can be a little bit tenacious getting people to buy some cookies they before can. they come into the bank. You know, <laughs> I think everybody gets stopped and approached. <laughs> Well, they, they know there's enough folks that are going in there, they're cashing a check and coming right back oh, out. Oh, yeah, they've got smart. You can't smart. say you don't have any money in your wallet, right? Yeah. They're smart. I should have, I should have thought to set up a little booth outside I of a know. bank window. <laughs> you know, and the good thing about it is I see a lot of people not buying cookies and still contributing money oh, yeah. to the girls. Oh, yeah. So they know that they're going to get quite a bit of that, too. So they do quite well on my uh, parking lot. That's good. <laughs> 
Some, some of them are, are even throwing out beads, so. Oh. Nice. Beads, candy, this is our yes, own version of a Mardi Gras. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it go on for blocks and blocks. And they've got candy, you see the little yellow buckets? Yes. So the kids know that, they're watching for that. And there's a wheelchair. I don't know who's supposed to be in it, but no one's riding in it. They felt good Maybe enough. Just they felt good enough to walk. They're walking now. Absolutely. Yeah, I think this is usually one of the kind of the longest pieces of of the parade today. Yes, it is. Is watching these 500 girls come through. And it's great. I love it when when the cameras can get a close up of uh -huh. some of these young faces. The smiling, happy spirits. Oh, is, look at that. What a blessing. Well, you know, we're too far off of the street until we can't get in on the candy. Somebody should bring some over. I'd like that. To us, you know. Look at them throwing the candy. The kids are right there. Yes. And they got, I see some signs, there's Troop 311 there. They've got a couple signs they want to make sure oh, that, their, that their troop is known. Mm -hmm. So a good shout out to Troop 311. Well, some of them were a bit smart there. They've got umbrellas. They are. Shield the sun from the sun. So that's well, good. Well, and the way the weather was looking today, they, they may have needed those umbrellas for rain if right. they were watching the forecast yesterday. Yeah, because the, uh, the, the talk was there could be quite some quite massive thunderstorms mm -hmm. for a At minute. about this time of the afternoon. So it was scary. It was. Yeah, but look at it. It's beautiful. So we shall not speak of rain. No. Now we're just going to talk about the friendly faces and the happy hearts that we've got in these children walking through the city of Florissant today. I think the parade started at the James J. Egan Center where there's been so many festivities over the course of the weekend. The Zope Family Circus was there again, which is always a huge hit. I think we'll see them later in the parade and we'll talk more. I think we might be coming to the end of it. The Girl Scouts. And let's see who's following close by. Queen candidates should start, mm -hmm. but oh, this isn't a queen candidate. We're the Mets. Well, let's see. Where are the Rhythm Mets today? Have... Well, that definitely is the Rhythm Mets. And uh, they've got some pom pom girls pom -pom, there. Yes, about one. Let's see, it looks like uh, nearly ten of them there supporting their group. Okay. And now maybe closely following. Might be our cheerleaders behind. and pom pomers mm -hmm. of the future. Yes. Now our first queen candidate. If this is her on the horizon would be Sally Cachot. Let's see if that's who we've got coming through here now, Lily. I think they may have stopped to throw a little candy out. I see some okay. candy tossing there. I do believe this is her. She's, she's probably following the, in the trailer and float that's being pulled behind oh, this pickup. Oh, that's beautiful. Now she's with Hazelwood West High School. Her sponsor is Vitendo for Africa. Now, Vitendo for Africa is dedicated to welcoming, connecting, and empowering immigrants and refugees in Missouri. Through their mentorship program, youth learn the necessary, the necessary life and social skills. I love her dress. That's a beautiful float. Look at the colors. Look at this. The color scheme is just amazing. Oh, and somebody's got some drawing they've skills got, there. They've got the music. They've got everything going for them in this. This is. Beautiful very, float. Very, very nice. Look at the costumes. Done. Looks like she's kind of got her own group parading her, about 15 young ones there. We'll have to see how that float lines up. Uh -huh. And judging, you know, the best That colors. is neat. That is beautiful. Let's see, who do we have?
Oh, this is yeah. our Nerdy Girls and Nerdy Boys book club. I hear they're chanting. <laughs> they have a this song. This is great. <laughs> yes, look at them here. Inspired by the young Kennedy Thompson who wanted to start a club where friends could read books and discuss them monthly. As simple as that. It says they're inspired by his sister, young Kyron Thompson, started a book club for boys. 34 members has now grown to 225. That, that's, that is great to see. 225 member book club with a, in the age of electronics. Right. People who are interested in reading. A mission to inspire young readers to become knowledgeable of different people, places, things. Wow. What's important? Having fun. That's amazing. Well needed. Welsh Heating and Cooling, they bring through one neat truck followed by one neat race car. It's a 1948 pickup truck, lettered just as their fleet was in the 40s, followed by a 1937 midget race car, which represents Mr. Walsh's strong affection for auto racing. Beautiful truck. I love seeing that truck each year. And we have another queen candidate. And we said we were going to get that name it's pronounced all, correctly, huh? I, I hope we get it right. <laughs> Alyssa Gahovac. Gahoviak. Gahoviak. Okay. Well, hopefully we got close on that one. She's from Incarnate Word Academy. Uh, sponsor is Sacred Heart. Alyssa's float is titled Little Mermaid, based on the classic story of Hans Christian Andersen. Story of a mermaid who dreams of the world above the sea and gives up her voice to find love. Mm -hmm. I think we have a total of 16 queen candidates that we're going to see come through here yes. today. Yes, so a little smaller of a group, but we'll do just fine. We'll do just we fine. Only need five <laughs> we only need five for the court. I think for the girls, it can almost, it's, it's kind of like a little a little prom for them. I mean, they get to dress up, they're escorted. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. And get another nice dress. Sacred Heart Kindergarten coming through. Float depicts scenes from Tom Sawyer with students and teachers. The Lucky Ducks, three-year-old, kindergartens, and regular kindergartens. They always have a nice float. We must have missed, uh, I, didn't, I didn't see the friends of Tim Lowry come through. Hope we didn't miss them. I don't think so. I think they might have just gotten a little bit out of order. I didn't see a 69 Mustang. Okay. I hear the cheerleaders for St. Ro Rose Philip, Philip Duchesne. Okay. You hear them chanting. I think it's their uh, first year in, in the parade. 25 students divided into two squads, Rosebuds, grades K through four, and Varsity Squad from grades four through seven. Their mission is to promote a team spirit while learning discipline and leadership skills. Very good, at a young age, my goodness. The queen candidate that we see here with this, looks like a pretty massive float behind the truck, is Zoe Sherrod. McClure North High School. Her sponsor is the Strini School of Dance. And the icon, if you can't tell by the hot air balloon, is Wizard of Oz. Zoe asks everyone that the one thing they want, what is your dream? Zoe Sherrod. And she's got the wave down pat. Look at that. I see it. I see Beautiful. it. Beautiful. That is a pretty neat float. I love the Emerald City behind it. They yeah. really, they, they did a great they, job setting they that up. And we've got another color guard, Bishop John M. Worm, assembly color guard. This last is their was first time in the parade. Okay. Or last year, I'm sorry, was their first time in the parade. Everybody knows these guys. Yeah, the kids are ready for this. The Moolah Mini Patrol as they come through. And they put on an amazing show each year. They have a, a good time doing it too, you can tell. They have fun. <laughs> I, I've got in my notes, they, they actually participate in a hundred parades a year. Oh my goodness. There's only 365 days. That means <laughs> a third of the year they're they in a parade. Doing just There's no what wonder they, they don't knock doing. these things over. They've gotten good at it. Their mission is to promote the Shriners Hospital for Children, which treats children under age 18 with burns, orthopedic, and spinal cord injuries. 
and other um, metabolic disorders. Treatment is performed regardless of the family's ability to pay, and that's amazing in itself. That's key. It is, it is a, a huge benefit to so many parents that have uh, children suffering. Him <laughs> They're getting a good shot at that. So these grown men get to act like little kids again, huh? For a third of the year. Boy, that's, well, that's what, a, what, I'm what a life, about. huh? What a it job. Is. What was I thinking? Getting into banking? I should have done know. something like Look this. At this. Could have been driving little yellow cars. <laughs> There's always retirement, right? Okay, you got another shot at it. Ruler Shrine, Gateway 500. <laughs> they're just coasting. Oh, they're coasting, and they're yeah, in the they sprint don't. cars. These are the ones that look like they should be going zero to 60 in about. 30 seconds. They, uh, they're the ones going slow. I don't get that. Do you? No. No, the, the yellow box cars are uh, are kind of the ones going slow yeah. or going fast. I mean, you've been able to get on two wheels and all. They should be turned on. <laughs> they should on be. two wheels. I think we've but got a little bit, a little yeah. bit of a break in the parade now. Yeah. As, as uh, some of the other candidates have to kind of catch up a little bit. Yeah, they get a little bit spaced out from here to there, but they usually catch up, as you say. But Hopefully the residents watching today have been able to, to be out at some of the other festivities that Florissants offer. I know on, on Saturday, in addition to what's going on with the carnival and the fairgrounds, there's always the garden center where people go to pick out a, there's about a hundred different types of tomatoes. And it and was busy. And plants. It was busy yesterday. Was it? There. Oh yes, it was packed. So Florissant came out in Usually, full force. I know I've seen uh, in the past they have the, the petting zoo for the kids to come. Mm -hmm. They've had the bubble bus. They have a magician walking around. I'm not sure there's any other community that really puts on a festival like the city of Florissant does. Not not in the St. Louis area. Not no. of this magnitude. I know for, for years, this festival was probably the largest spring festival in, in all of Missouri. Definitely. Do we have another dance? Looks like we've got, yeah, here. looks like we've got another dance team that's come up. And Is this, this Lace Dance Academy? See, that's what it appears to be, and the dancers are, are quite active. Yeah, that's what it looks like, Lace Dance Academy. Good group but of I'm, girls out there, very energetic, so they haven't been on the parade route long because they're not tired at all. Look at them. They're ready to dance. They are, they're pumping. trying to read their shirts. I think their shirts say you wouldn't understand. I wonder I wonder what the story is behind that. It says that they are a nonprofit dance team that supports youth and the community through dance. Performs in many local competitions throughout the St. Louis area. Not sure if this is their first year, but they are giving us a little sample here All of right. what they can do. There you go. Now show us what they have. Having positive right. environments for our youth to grow up in is so important, especially in this day of age where we all can get caught up in our electronics. To have something that can get out there, you know, get burn off some of this energy. I know as a right. parent, we love it when our kids can actually burn off some of that, that stored up energy. It's a good, healthy activity. It absolutely is. And I believe we do have a candidate following close behind. That should be queen candidate number four. Let's see, is that Yen? Yes, Yen Wen. Yen Wen? Incarnate In Word Academy. The sponsor was Cannoli's Restaurant, and Yen's involved in student council, student ambassador, high school night team, and the swim team. Her theme is Mama Mia, because it best represents her since she too is energetic, fun, and spirited. With all those activities, well, you'd have to be. Yeah, I like that theme. I love that movie too. Love that dress.
I don't know where these girls get the dresses from, or their parents, I should say. Yeah, their parents, some right? Some money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody's paid some money for these dresses. They're beautiful. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 794, has been serving North County for over 20 years. If you're a Vietnam veteran, you can join them at 7 p.m. on the third Tuesday of each month at 410 St. Francis Street in Florida. Enjoy coming together. They are uh, a good brotherhood. I mean, they, they understand one another, and this is the, the veterans and everything that they, have, that they did is, uh, is amazing. We appreciate the Vietnam Vets. And they've got a little stoppage here, but they're moving again. Let's see him. Who's following closely behind? That could be the um, see, Veterans Coalition, is it? No, that's Atonement Lutheran. Oh, here we go. Atonement Lutheran School and Early Childhood Center, right? Yes. Serving North County since 1956. Thomas Pre-K through Grade 8 program provides families quality Christian education, student support for services in their children are safe, positive environment that supports long life learning and success. I ask everybody, if you're interested, just to call for a tour. And followed closely by another Queen candidate, and that would be Leah Batten. Batten? Um, Hazelwood West High School. Sponsor is John A. Lieber, Jr., licensed professional counselor. Leah is joined by nearly two dozen walkers, escorting her along the parade route. Oh, and another beautiful dress. She's got kind of a fast wave there. Fast wave yeah. and a nice, beautiful big smile. smile. Yep. Yes, Leah. Hazelwood West. We've got a lot of Hazelwood West represented here. We do. Dressed up, all these girls are. They they might be ready to go down and try to try out for one of the uh, no. shows. Let's see what's huh? going. On. Is that DK Dance Productions? It's got to be. Woo! Look at the camera that. guys got it there. Great shot of the girls Beautiful. doing some flips. The weather's cooperating for them. They're having a good time. Look at the smiles. 90 participants that came from DK Dance Productions today, celebrating 12 years in Florissant. DK Dance Productions, competitive performing company, has danced all over the United States. Dance truly builds positive self-image, self-esteem, discipline, and appreciation for the arts. Always excited to offer their knowledge to the students of North County as well as their new location in Alton. Well, they've got there another dance are. routine for us. Woo. Now, how many of these young ladies might be showing up for a muni audition in a, in a few years? Yeah. I know the muni attracts lots and lots of local dance teams and, and people who have been in dance since they were a young, young child. They certainly do, and they encourage the local students or dance students to come down, anyone with a little bit of a dance background. And my daughter auditioned for Greece and was selected some years back, and it was the most fun experience in yes. her life, she says. So it was, I sat through all of the uh, tryouts. Was that fun to watch? All, all day, I believe it went on. But it was, it was beautiful. She got to dance. Good. <laughs> Custom Corvettes. Oh, look these are those. These are always one of my favorites. Cor yeah. Those are the beauties. For, for me, and I'm sure several other guys just wanting to own a Corvette someday, and then these guys really kind of take it up a notch with all the work that they do to spruce them up. These, these cars are something fabulous. These are their toys. They are. Yeah. They are big matchbox toys. This with yellow one here, price, I've talked to him before about his car, <laughs> oh, really? and we've looked under his hood, and there's, there's so much chrome. You could you could do your makeup, Lily, and, and the shine off of his engine. It's amazing. And this little boy is getting to ride in one. Look at that. They participate in car shows all over the Midwest, well, and of, of course, as well as right here in, in the city of Florissant. Yeah, they take pride in those vehicles and maintaining them. And uh, they were here yesterday uh, in downtown. Yeah. And I'm sure Florida. we'll see several of these cars again in a few weeks at our church. We've got a, a car show that we put on 
And we've got several of these Corvettes that come and appear. Yeah, take a lot of pride in that. And let's see, following the custom Corvettes, I believe, is, let's see if we're right, is it man? This is a queen candidate. Oh, another up. queen candidate? Okay. Yeah. 46 should be in the Fisher. We'll see here. We've got that right. Looks like he's got a lot of uh, walking supporters. We've got to wait for that float to kind of get close enough to us so the cameras can get in there and get a good shot of, of the float and her theme. I think I think the musical theme here is Greece. Mm -hmm. well, Emma Fisher's from Trinity Catholic High School. Her sponsor is Dooley's Florist and Gifts. And her theme is for the 40th anniversary of the musical Greece. And she's accompanied by several close grade school and high school friends decorated floats for the Queen candidates in the past, and now as a candidate herself. She describes the experience in one word as surreal. It's a nice looking float, and she has a beautiful smile. Look at that. They must have practiced for months on these waves, because all of the girls are doing a fine yeah. job. They've got it down pat. Now, that's interesting. I'm glad we saw a float for Greece, because how many girls grow up loving the musical, the movie, the whole concept of Greece. It, it is just, yeah. it's timeless. Yes, it is. I haven't found anyone that. Hey, here's one of our event sponsors, Regions Bank. And their great big green bicycle. I know. Color really stands out, doesn't it? You know, we used to see Schnook's big grocery cart. Now That's we're seeing right. Regions bicycle. bicycle. They, they, have one. One. they need to have them side by side. As Regent says, their green bike represents making banking faster. Banking is as easy as riding a bike. Oh. Hey, we're both bankers, we can agree, right? Yes, Banking's yes. easy. That's what we try to do, make it easy. Make right? it easy. Their newest location on North Lindbergh across from IHOP. Right you can't, next to you can't miss it at night. You no, drive through, it's no, very it's bright. Right. Now we see Omega Generations Youth Organization coming through. Omega Generations assist individuals in our community who can't help themselves by assisting with chores such as grass cutting, or shoveling snow. I should have them come over to my house. Today, <laughs> they're already out here. <laughs> now seriously, they feed and provide clothing to our families that need it the most. Whenever there's a crisis in St. Louis, you can bet Omega Generations They'll be there to help you out. That's nice to know. And here's another dance studio, LA Dance. They've been around for a while and they're usually in the parade each year. Um, they offer a variety of dance for ages two through adult, performed in the New York City Branson and at Disney World. Motto is fun, friends, and fitness. We get to see lots of dance teams. There's there are several studios here locally for oh, families yes. to be a part of. And they're dancing to Singing in the Rain, which is one of the Muni performances this year. Look at that. It can't be easy to, to dance walking down a street and stay in order the way they do. I, I don't know how they do it. Well coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> and another queen candidate. Wizard of Oz theme again. Look at that. Emerald City in the background. Samantha. Acker. 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 We'll find out. Her sponsor is Ken's Auto Repair and Towing. And her school is Incarnate Word Academy. Samantha celebrates the Muni's 100 with the Wizard of Oz theme. Very good. I think we've seen a couple of those. The wonderful land of Florissant, as Aww. she puts it. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like Florissant. She's assisted, she's accompanied, not really assisted, but okay. accompanied by her, her parents and her sister. And today. I guess that's her sister, little Dorothy, Aww, huh? How From sweet. the Wizard of Oz. Yes. And she's singing.
hear just a little bit if I listen really hard. That's a beautiful float. The judges are going to have a hard time they are really, picking the this winning is, This float. is going to be a tough one today. Mm -hmm. And I think this is Miss Senior Missouri Cameo Tambourine. The Tambourine Troupe is a part of Miss Senior Missouri. The Tambourine Performance Number can be seen throughout the St. Louis area in a variety of, of venues and of parades. Miss Senior Missouri and her court. Good looking ladies. Look at those dresses. I remember when I had first started working with the city of Florissant in the production in the production team, one of the gals that worked with us was a former Miss Senior Missouri. Oh, really? The ladies say, we still got it. That's right. <laughs> and she did. She was great. Now we're looking at All Saints Academy. All Saints Academy is the all-new Catholic school in North County, formed through a partnership between St. Ferdinand, St. Norbert, St. Rose, Philippine Duchesne, and the Archdiocese of St. Louis. The new school is going to continue the traditions of each of the parish schools, adding resources such as PE class time, art, music, enhanced technology, and a school nurse for each campus. Very good. Now those, those schools that are mentioned, they're all staples here in the city of Florissant. The St. Ferdinand, St. Ro Norbert, and St. Rose. Imagine this combined effort will just give them more strength and commitment to the community. And better coverage for the students in this area. It's important. Mm -hmm. And this is Garden Villas North. I recognize their little We little see band. it all around town, uh -huh. don't we? Uh -huh. Garden Villas North is a retirement community and is always welcomed, uh, a welcome participant in the Valley of Flowers Parade. Uh, passengers are residents of their independent and assisted living uh, community. Now, Florissant has always been a great retirement community. And we've got several of these nice retirement homes for, yes, we for do. those to, to, that live in that, that aren't wanting to keep up with their own house and yards anymore. Like you were talking about early on, but you're too young still to go into one of these, even though it would be <laughs> nice. But you wouldn't have to cut the how many have, acres? Oh, three, three acres? Three acres? Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't have to do that. Is another. this another candidate? I think so. Emily Moranville. She attends McClure North High School. Her sponsor is Johnny Landoff Chevrolet. Emily plays, uh, pays tribute to the musical Newsies. She says that the float celebrates the drive to rise up and accomplish for the good of all. Emily believes that the young adults of today are the leaders and heroes of tomorrow. Amen. They really are. You know, our, our community is no better than the, than the children that we raise. That's true. That they do take over for us one day. And I, I like this Newsies float. That was really, really great seeing these, uh, these boys in the old Newsday uh -huh. uniforms and outfits. Yeah, they did a good job on this one. All right, and then we have one of our oldest dance schools in this area, Laverne Meyer School of Dance. How many years? 60 years of business, it looks like. Believe that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Started in Overland. They're still at it, offering classes in ballet, tap, jazz, acrobats, baton, and palms. 60 years. You have to know what you're doing to keep your business alive in a, in a dance studio environment for 60 years. See, I couldn't walk and twirl the baton <laughs> at the same time. I can only imagine how many times that baton would have fallen if you would have seen me twirling that, Lily. But yet these, these little girls are doing it. They've got it. That's right. This is the 2015 and 2016 Queens and Courts. Look at that. Welcome back. They didn't want to stay away. I know, they can't get enough of it. The 2015 Queen, Courtney Nesler, and the runner-up, Josie Uren? Your hand. Your hand. Mm -hmm. Special maids, uh, Fallon. Fallon Burton, Rebecca Connor, and Lauren Everett. You got it. And then 2016 Queen is Katie Whistler. Runner up was Allie Fry. Special maids Jennifer Welch, Tori Turpin, and Rebecca Bazan. 
Welcome I back. remember them well. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Center, you, get to, you get to know the queens quite well each year. Yeah. We toy with them quite a bit at the queen's dinner for a couple of hours. And this is Hazelwood West Middle School Marching Band. 50 members, 6th, and 7th, and 8th graders. Loud and proud. Yeah. Wildcats. They've performed at the Family Arena, the Ambush Soccer Games, Car Shield Stadium, Rascals Baseball, the Hazelwood Homecoming, of course the parade and many more. You can always love the carriage rides. Ah. And we've got a queen candidate in the horse and carriage. This must be Megan Jandro, Hazelwood West High School, sponsored by Hendel's Restaurant. Look at that wave. Beautiful yep. dress, beautiful wave. Hendel's Restaurant, that, you know, goes right along with a, you know, a great restaurant and a great horse and carriage. What Look a beautiful night out. Yeah, sure. takes you back. The restaurant takes you back. It sure does. Horse and carriage tradition, beautiful. Megan loves to play high school soccer, hang out with friends, spend time with family. She'd like to thank Christina and Nathan Bennett for sponsoring her as well as her parents, Kelly and David, for all their love and support these years. Very good. Oh, we've got another Plus. dance studio. They could be dancing to the beat of the band that's playing right in front was, of them, really. Yeah, they've got the music there. Dance Plus has been in the parade now, I'm going to say um, pretty consistently for the past six years in the parade. This is, this is another North County school that's been around for about 28 years. And um, they do a good job. Girls um, have a good time hanging out with their friends at dance. They have a lot of different dance styles, recreational dance, competitive dance, um, available to girls and boys age two through adult. Dedicated team here today. We see the picture of all of them. There's, I think, about 70 that were going to participate in the parade today. And they are lined up and coordinated. This is hey good. Girls, and look at the little ones. I think we might have a few two or three year olds out there. I don't think it's ever too young to start. Yeah, the younger the better. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, we are. Christian Hospital is going to come up. We hear the, uh, the sounds of their sirens blaring through. Is that the hospital? Yes. We're very thankful for all that Christian Hospital's done here in the North County area and their facilities, their emergency rooms, their hospitals, and their care for our residents. And following close behind Christian Hospital, we have another queen candidate. I believe this is Kateri Heithouse. Her school is Rosati Kane High School. She's sponsored by Knights of Columbus Duchesne Council 2951. And this is the second Newsies Yeah, another, uh, another Newsies thing for her. Her love of ice hockey landed her in the USA Women's National U16 Ice Hockey Finals, but her greater passion is for serving children with special needs and working as a camp counselor. And look at the dress. The dress is beautiful. And she has kind of a mesmerizing Doesn't wave she? there. Yeah. Yes. That's different. She has her own style. And I wonder if this, if this little newsboy next to her, I wonder if that's her brother. I love the caps. I was going to say the same thing, and he's got his lollipop. He's, yeah. he is, he's having fun today. How great. Yeah, the Muni has had that play quite a few times. Newsies the in Newsies? the past maybe mm -hmm. 10 years, yeah. And then, is that day camp? Day so camp on location, adventure awaits. Hmm. We could use an adventure, right? Looks like Float 63, that should be St. Andrew's United Methodist Church. It is. Mm -hmm. They've got some passengers there, along with some stuffed animals hanging I out see of them. It. They, must have, <laughs> they must have some puppet shows that they put on. Well, the passengers are supposed to be children, youth, and adults from St. Andrew's and North Hills United Methodist Church. 
They're using part of their puppet cast to celebrate the Muni's 100 by singing along with their favorite Broadway musical songs like Hello Dolly, Tomorrow, and Any Dream Will Do, and more. So that's what the that's puppets sweet. are about, huh? That's cute. The bus includes signs from this year's offerings as well as posters from some of the big shows of past years. Now that is special. Oh, I bet the kids Some are the, loving the puppets. Oh, the puppet reenactments, they really are really neat to watch. If you haven't been to a puppet show like that in any time, they are quite entertaining. Good sound, too. A crew of kilted shamrocks coming up next. Let's see. We are. That's number 65. Yeah. Promotes uh, Celtic awareness and supports charitable organizations through volunteering and fundraising. They are. They've got the easy way out. They get to sit down Look and watch the parade and just wave. And this might be another queen candidate, too. It's huge. Look at that tractor oh. taken. Humongous. She's on a Peter Pan pirate ship. This is Elizabeth Goldstein. Her school is Incarnate Word Academy. Her sponsor is Goldmark Enterprises. And Peter Pan is her theme. The pirate ships come out of retirement to celebrate the Muni. And Elizabeth's joined by several friends to make Peter Pan and Captain Hook theme come alive. Golly, they sure Boy, did they, it with that ship. They're just really inspiring us to get down to the Muni for every performance. This is just, that's a beautiful float. Where, I hang out at the Muni Where did they ever every, find that? I don't know. Whoever built that one, they put some work into it. But yeah, my daughter and I have hung out is. at the You get them, a good shot the, of her right there. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. And that's Elizabeth Goldstein, right? Beautiful float. But yeah, my daughter and I have hung out at the Muni every summer for the past, I'm gonna say 20 years. We just, we live there. There's always a good a good, good show or two to, to go out and see. You know, so much of the Muni is, uh, some, seems to be weather dependent. Last year was a great year for the Muni mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had some close calls while we're sitting out there with our umbrellas, but you know, didn't scare us off. Since, this, since they're celebrating their 100th year this year, we're, we'll pray that, that all that their shows a good go one. off yeah. without a hitch. Is that Mantravani St. Louis? Mark Mantravani running for St. Louis County Executive? It is. It looks hmm. like a 56 Chevy. Chevy Bel Air? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got Family Care Home Health Services coming through now. An organization that cares for seniors, disabled persons, and the comfort of their own homes. They also offer home health service for veterans through the Vet Assist program, which means there's no out-of-pocket expense, and all services are paid through the Missouri Medicaid and the Veterans Home Care. Good. Very nice. Now, well, let's see who's... Family oh, that's care, still health family health care. Yes, okay. Still part of the group. And they've got beads, <laughs> Mardi Gras beads. They, they know what the public likes. So there's candy out there on the street, there's beads and barbecue. Why are we over here? I Lily? don't know. I think this table is too far away from the street. We're not getting in on anything. We're going to have to move this we table. Move this. Yeah. Yeah. Has to be on the edge of the parade next time. Yeah. This must be Matthew's. Dickies Boys and Girls Club is what it looks like, the colors. And yes, it is. Their all-star cheer team works hard to motivate the community and give the audience a show they won't forget. Today's group is under the direction of Coach Paige Taylor. Now that's a school that's been around for quite a few years. I think they're getting set up to do a little dance for it us. It is. Loud. 
loud and proud. Look yes. at this. They've got some energy, That's showing a little energy. Okay, I would jump, I could jump that first time they did the <laughs> whoop, whoop, and then that would be it. And another queen candidate approaching. She comes up driving in this beautiful Mustang. A red Mustang at that. Emily Noonan, Duchesne Catholic High School sponsored by Citizens Bank. Emily has chosen a 1941 Mercury Coupe as her mode of travel, beautiful. She's joined by friends who are handing out candy along the parade route. Emily enjoys sharing herself and time to make others happy. Look at that smile. Now she's gonna get some sun there. She sure is, I hope yeah. she's got some of that suntan lotion on. <laughs> your, your daughter has some, <laughs> she can share it with her. She was looking out for me this morning. Yes, I wanted to make was. sure I wouldn't burn. She's probably using it on everybody out there now yep. since you wouldn't take her up on it. Uh, and let's see. This might be the mm -hmm. chamber. Greater North County is a very large chamber dedicated to the development and sustainability of the North County Business District. Their theme today was Meet Me at the Chamber. There you go. They really do a good job of uh, supporting mm. local businesses and kind of welcoming them to the community when they open new businesses. The chamber is always a great environment for uh, companies to get involved in, is especially with, if they're new to the area, to get to know who else is is in the community, and they get they can learn from one another um, and use that as as a true business advantage. And let's see, what have we got? This is another queen candidate, I believe. This should be Katie O'Brien. Let's see if we've got it right. And it is. And she's a student at Hazelwood West High School, another Hazelwood West. Hazelwood West is very popular today. Sponsored by VFW Post 4105. Her theme is based on the musical Tarzan with songs written by Phil Collins. The vets of Post 4105 know all about being honorable and serving others. That's why they're proud to sponsor Katie today. And this should be Valley Industries. Let's see if we've... Yeah, yeah. Valley Industries and Bomarito Automotive partnering together on this uh, entry. Showcasing the new customized 2018 Toyota Tundra. Draw attention to great work of Valley Industries. Bomarito is a proud sponsor and supporter of all great employees of the Valley. Stop by for a tour and see how Valley Industries can help your business with packaging or assembly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do good work there. and. They can take on quite a few projects. I know they've done uh, packaging for Weight Watchers mm -hmm. International, putting together all of their packages for new membership. So a lot of very good projects they get through Valley Industries. I've been through several of their workshops and, and it's, it is great to see the way they work and how, how the whole, almost like a plant, mm -hmm. is put together. Yes, it is. Very well coordinated. Just the dazzling rubies, rubies. I believe. Mm -hmm. The Dazzling Rubies is a majorette group that works with young ladies ages 5 through 18 to instill confidence, leadership, and just have fun. They also offer a scholarship program uh, for their graduating high school seniors. And I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a queen come through oh here. Oh yeah, in a beautiful float. Harlan. Oh, she's getting a little bit off. Oh, Kelter there. The Don't truck fall. is moving. You see, he's trying to stand. You better hang on. This is Carly Olmsby from Incarnate Word Academy. Her sponsor is Copal Construction. What young girl hasn't dreamed of being a princess? Well, this Cinderella float is perfect she's, for she's Carly. She's going to sit down now. She was trying to stand up, but the wind is a little, a little high. She has everything a princess needs. An honorage, a beautiful dress, a wonderful feeling of excitement. All she needs now is the power of flowers crown. That is it. And that dress is Will just she get the beautiful. Crown? 
She says, I paid the money for the dress. I need the crown. She looks like Cinderella. Yes, she does. It's beautiful. Beautiful float. Think she's wearing a glass slipper? I think so. She was having trouble standing up, so that I think might she's be got it. on some She slippers. was missing a slipper. That is now, it. Now we understand. We know what happened. Bowling services. Well, we've seen their shiny trucks around town since 1954. Bowling Services has been family owned and operated and has been the first choice in St. Louis area for light, medium, and heavy duty toting. They also specialize in equipment hauling, of course. Bowling Services, do. one of their larger trucks right here. This one would be towing another semi, I uh -huh. believe. Yes, they do good work. You have a lot of confidence when you see them show up. You know that mm. it's gonna be done right. So. Good company. Let's see who's following closely behind. This should be um, Florissant Certified Emergency Management Commission. Let's see if that. I think you're right. I think that's got to be who this is. It's a nice looking truck there. That's who we've got. Florissant CERT. We, we call them CERT, but CERT is uh, an, the acronym for Community Emergency Response Team. They work with the Florissant Police Department, and their goal is for emergency personnel to train members of neighborhoods, community organizations, our workplace, workplaces, and basic response skills. Okay. Let's keep everyone safe. I think when we get Past cert, we've got another queen candidate. This is the 15th candidate we've seen today. We've only got one more. Just right? one more. This parade's moving right along. Oh, and her dress is beautiful. This is Victoria Dixon, Rosati Kane High School, sponsored by Handyman Hardware. A pillar business in our community. Yes, been around for years. Victoria's covered all the bases with her, her Muni 100th celebration. The focal point isn't a musical. It's the stage itself. The stage is a common thread among all shows. She's joined by characters and costumes from pop, from popular musicals and alongside the float. Now, you know, we have both right hand and left hand um, queen waivers here. Yeah. I wonder if that has to do with whether they're left or right handed or just uh, that's how they practiced it in training for this. You know, I. I don't know. I, I've never thought about that yeah, way. I'm just watching this today. You know, uh -huh. there seems to be a strategy going on here. Yeah. I'm going to have to look into this, but that's a beautiful well, When you meet with them later, ask if they're right or left handed. We'll go back and we'll watch the footage. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll figure this Gotta out. figure it out. There's something going on in their training. Let's see. Ford's Unlimited Car Club coming through now since 1986. This car club has evolved through friendships, camaraderie, into a large group of people of all ages. They just enjoy getting together, sharing stories and fun with their Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Good variety of cars that we should see pass through. They've got some old ones out there. I'm trying to see what kind of a Ford is this one. It looks almost like the old Fairlane. The Ford trucks taking on a new image with that front grill there. Somebody just gave us, a, or the crowd, a thumbs up there. I saw candy being tossed yeah. out again on both sides, except that it's just not coming over far enough. Oh, and this one is. There's, now there's so much, there's so many things on this car. I can't, I can't, I can't tell what it, what, it what it is. There's umbrellas on both sides, floral. It's some kind of a Ford. That's all Meet we know. Me at Crystal Creek. Oh, is that? This is Crystal, Crystal Creek. Creek Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. All right. Skilled nursing staff that provides long-term care and therapy services such as speech occupational and physical. They provide respite stays as well as hospice care and are proud partners with Smet Retirement Community. All right. The 
Morrison Presbyterian Church and Learning Center here has a nicely decorated truck with all the flowers on it. 2018 is the 70th anniversary of Florissant Presbyterian and its service to Florissant. Celebrating their family and friends and the community through music and helping others. And they have a theme of Meet Me in St. Louis. One of my favorite plays or movies, which is uh, one of their performances this year on the lineup at the Muni. You're going to make that one, aren't you? I'm going to have to. So next we have Hazelwood Central Golden Hawks Marching Band. Flags are flying. Drums are beating. We've got a great group out here. Good sounds. And look how they're marching in unison and playing. See again, I'd be all Things that we couldn't do or something. That's yeah. why we're sitting here. Okay, I get it now. Wonder how much practice does that take to be able to stay in tune and in step? Absolutely. We've seen a lot of great marching bands here today from the local schools. Hazelwood Central is one of Yay. the largest high schools that we've got in the area. And this is our final queen candidate, isn't it? Uh, it is. This is number 16 of 16 coming through, Isabel Cortese. She's homeschooled, our first homeschool candidate All today. Right. Her sponsor's Old Town Donuts, and she's riding in style, benefiting the queen candidate that she is. The 59 Edsel is owned by Ken Lambert, has played host to astronauts, senators, governors, well, now hopefully a new Valley of Flowers queen. That is a beautiful dress she's on, riding in a beautiful vehicle. Welcome to the parade, Isabel. And you see how he made that little um, seat or cushion for her to ride on? He doesn't want anything on the. Um, oh yeah, he's taking care of it. The interior or exterior of the car. Mm -hmm. Nothing's to touch it. No hands. Well, I can't believe that mm -hmm. the astronauts and senators and governors have all ridden in that car in a parade. Isn't that something? Let's see. I think that's uh, this Saint, is the St. Louis Glamour Glamettes. Glamettes. I don't have they been in the parade before? I don't. I don't recognize the name. No, I don't. So St. Louis Clements are a competitive majorette dance team under the direction of Brittany Hunter. They've been competing around St. Louis for five years now. The Glamets create a positive and supportive outlet for young ladies and men to express themselves. No, I don't remember if they I were here. I don't think so. Well, they're showing some attitude yes, as they, they are, are strutting. Yeah, I think there's a certain amount of energy that you just get when you walk in a parade. You know, you see the step foot and you're ready to put on a show yeah. as if you were in the beauty. Exactly. And you get that extra bit of energy you need to kind of make it the whole way through. Well, they are certainly having a good time. All of the um, dance studios, the marching bands. And now the Zope Family Circus. This has been a, a tradition that really started for the city of Florissant, I think, three or four years ago. I'm trying to think how many years they've, they've come to town now put up their their one ring circus tent near the uh, Egan Center and it attracts show after show of packed families here in the city of Florissa. Anything could happen here with Zope. It's an Italian family circus featuring Nino the Clown. Sixth generation of the Giovanni Zope heads up the family to run the circus that's performed worldwide since it was established in 1842. It's not only a tradition, that's circus. You really need to see the clowns, acrobats, aerialists, and more, all under the big top, right here in the city of Florissant. If you didn't catch a show this year, Lily, make it to one next year. And that goes for everybody watching. And they it brought a little friend along too, which the kids are probably loving that. It's great to see the animals that they put in their act, what the dogs do, what the horse does, what their acrobats do. It, it really is wow. priceless. It's been a long time since I've gone to a circus, but that was good fun. Spoiled? Naya? Naya? Thank you. I think I was going to pronounce that wrong. Since she was five, Spoiled Naya has been dancing and performing with her own choreography. The hopes of one day being a professional choreographer. Now at 13, she's well on her way and she's wow. here today to show it. 
All right, let's see what, what's going on here. Spoiled Naya comes closer. We'll get a good shot of her crew and what she's done. Oh. And our next group after that is Youth Dedicated. The Glistening Diamonds, as they're known, are under the direction of Gerald Steed and are part of the Youth Dedicated. The organization conditions youth ages 7 through 18 to achieve excellence, be healthy, and have lots of fun while doing so. Always good to have fun. Oh. Like those tie-dye t-shirts. Yeah. Bringing it back. You know, my girls have done done some of those tie-dye deals with um, some of the camps that we've been to. Uh -huh. And and then one of them went, was with a, uh, a slumber party one of the girls went to. They made tie-dye shirts, and they absolutely loved it. Neat. We, yep, also, that was a we also learned thing. with one of our church groups, a great way to do the tie-dye shirt now is you have these paint wars. These, and you put paint a certain kind of paint in a water gun, you shoot around. And uh, you let the shirt dry. So you have and fun, you, and you have then you're getting the tie-dye t-shirt. you have a tie-dye shirt at the end <laughs> with all these colors. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The girls loved it. And this looks like, where did we go? Uh, this is Dalmatian carpet Dalmatian care, I believe. Dalmatian pet care? Is it carpet? Yeah, Dalmatian carpet care. They're an all-in-one cleaning company located here in Florissant. For over 20 years, they've cleaned it all. Kid, met, kid and pet messes, fire and water damage, <laughs> carpet upholstery, even your air ducts. Something to think about this time of year. I guess they're right. We might need them. Point of Surrender is another dance team. I think they're coming through. They join us again in this year's Valley of Flowers, it's their third year mm -hmm. in that short time that they performed with the St. Louis Concert Choir at Grace Church, Higher Ground International, the James J. Egan Theater, and the Missouri History Museum, and many other events. Welcome, Point of Surrender. Great. I mean, we have had tons of dancers here. But this is good to see them getting out, getting a little exercise, and all of this walking. And there's, there's a lot of parents that yeah. have been there with them this year too. Well, you, we talk a lot about these kids. They, they couldn't have done it without their parents' support. And there's a lot of time and energy that the parents really have to mm -hmm. devote and, and give up so that way their kids can be a part of something week after week and then to be a part of something like this today. And this might be complete auto body repair. I think I remember this. It is. It's complete auto body repair. I think they wrap up the lineup for our uh, parade venues today. Complete auto body repair along with A2B towing has brought their life-size elephant named Bella. There's nothing else we can say at this point. How do you top that? What a great way to end the parade. Thanks to complete auto body and repair. We have Bella to say the farewell for us. Isn't that beautiful? Bella the elephant. And they've got some good music. I think everybody should just end with a dance off. Yeah. In the middle of St. Yeah, Francis. All the dancers that kind of came through, they need to wrap back up around right now, line the dance streets, off. and show us what they've got. Well, everyone has a mascot. This elephant's a great, a great mascot for them, isn't it? Yes, it is. It looks pretty real, too. Bellow the elephant. Now, Commerce Bank doesn't have a mascot yet. No. Montgomery so Bank, we've got Monty the dog. Do you? Yeah. We need a mascot. You need a mascot. Yeah. Gonna find us one. Maybe we'll borrow Bella. I think that one is us. The Commerce Elephant. <laughs> yeah. Bella. What a parade it's been. What a time we've had here in the city of Florissant with the 2018 Valley of Flowers. This is a great time. See the Dalmatian uh, here wrapping it. 
wrapping it up. And too. did we have a great representation of the Muni here today or what? I love it. All the floats were so well done, put together. We got to see a couple of them twice. Mm -hmm. um, what was your favorite? Oh my I, I'm goodness. gonna say I really, I really like the pirate ship. Just that, that was so was. unique. It was not. I've never I'm seen. I, I have not seen something put together like that before. I'm gonna have to say I like singing in the rain. Yes. Do you remember that? That was beautiful. That and the Wiz. Those were my my two. But yeah, the pirate ship. Was just you know the the Cinderella that was in the ball. That was that was beautiful. It reminds you of you know the carriage obviously that she's in. So that was great. But uh, man, what a what a day. What a parade. Lily, it has been a pleasure working with you again. Thank you, too, you for Russ. the honor of doing this, uh, of, of being able to broadcast this parade. The city of Florissant, what a, what a day, what a show, what a weekend. A beautiful weekend. I am so glad that it did not rain. I, just, just perfect. Everything else was perfect. The Muni should be proud of us. We did them proud. Hopefully we'll have a few more people go down and look at their place. I hope so, so thank everyone for such a lovely day and for being here. Thank you, Lily. Thank you for watching. I'm Russell Inman. It was our pleasure to be here and to talk through the parade with you. We hope you were had a chance to, uh, to make it down and see some of this for yourself. If not, be sure to join some of the festivities that are left this weekend. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great one. Bye, guys.